Okay, you have your orders. Remember, do not injure the target. This is an extraction. We need to get him out of there in one piece. Are you ready? You want me to go to my government with this information? Are you crazy? Have you heard our last president try to count? And you want me to tell them about Fibonacci sequence, Lucas numbers, and prime numbers? Well, if when you can get out of here, you're going to need some help. What about the media? The media? Believe me, I've tried. Investigative journalism is not what it used to be. Unless someone famous or part of the establishment is saying it, the media are not interested. What about your friends and family? If enough people stop posting this all over social media, the world will have to sit up and take note. You don't get it. It's not only the politicians and media to blame. The whole world has become so enamored by the stars here on Earth that people don't believe in themselves anymore. All they care about is becoming rich and famous like the celebrities they worship. That's as far as their ambition and self-worth extends. If it's not going to entertain them or make them rich and famous, what's the point? Don't be so cynical. Not everyone is like that. There are people out there pushing boundaries, looking for answers. You're right. And I'm sorry. There are lots of people who are helping me. I'm just frustrated by how slow it's moving. Yet a part of me knows that this is exactly how it's supposed to be. The mystery and magic of life should only be there for those who care enough to look. You know, there's some stuff I haven't told anyone yet. I... I can't explain it. Sometimes I think maybe I'm crazy and that I must be mistaken. And yet, I experienced it firsthand. What are you talking about? I can't. I can't tell you. Part of me wants to keep it a secret. I feel that if I share this, the spell will be broken. You know? Like if you talk about something, you jinx it. Another part of me is afraid. I don't want to sound crazy or give people false hope. I first have to be 100% sure that I'm not just imagining it. But how can bones just heal themselves? You're not making any sense. Did you do something with the 216 Matrix? Do you know something that you're not sharing? Maybe the world will be better off if you don't open Pandora's box? Get me his medical records. Now. The last thing I want is for the wrong people to benefit from what I found while the poor continue to suffer. Have you watched my video on the seed of life? If we take seven circles and connect them all at their nuclei like this, we get a very famous sacred geometrical pattern known as the seed of life. Now, amazingly, if we use seven of our Fibonacci circles or building blocks, this seed of life starts to generate incredible magical flowers using only numbers. Mathematics is making flowers of numbers out of a design we have always known as the seed of life. Look at this. In this design, there are three flowers embedded or encoded into the seed of life. The outer flower shown in pink consists of 108 numbers and adds up to a total of 540. The middle flower shown in orange consists of 108 numbers and adds up to 540. The inner flower shown in green also consists of 108 numbers and adds up to 540. This is the kind of perfect symmetry that physicists have been searching for in nature. The programming involved here is so exceptional that it cannot be random. This is clearly the work of an intelligence 
far beyond our capability. An intellect that built this matrix into the very fabric of our universe. But it's not only that the flowers are all magically made up of 108 numbers, or that they all add up to 540, that is astounding. The sacred history of these numbers themselves are profound. We will look at the significance of these numbers later. For now, you need to try and comprehend what this means. These flowers of numbers are literally growing out of the seed of life. Ah, ah, fire, fire! My flesh, it burns! Let's do it! The key target, let's go! How did he get away? It's the work of the Monastery of Soul, sire. We'll get him back.